Chris is one of the proclaimers today and she has arrived 15 minutes before mass. She removes her coat and places it in the coat room or alternatively in a pew. We would ask that you and your family sit in the bank of pews closest to the ambo so as not to draw attention to yourself when coming from another area of the church. It does not have to be in the front pews. Chris then checks her name on the schedule in the sacristy, so the sacristan is aware that she has arrived. Chris is the first reader, so she will go to the ambo prior to Mass making sure the lectionary is on the correct page. The microphone is adjusted for her height and the prayers of the faithful are in the ambo. She can also glance at the reading again, even though she has practiced it many times at home during the week. Chris then returns to the sacristy and becomes familiar with the prayers of the faithful. Five minutes before Mass, both readers prepare for the procession by gathering outside the sacristy along with the others in the procession. The first reader processes in with the Book of the Gospels, except when the deacon is present. Hold the book so the front faces forward. You can hold it at chest level or, if you are able, above eye level. Both readers possess side by side behind the crucifix and altar servers. When you have arrived at the altar, the second reader will bow reverently and proceed to their seat. The first reader will go to the far left side of the altar, face the assembly, and place the book in the center of the altar. Then take one step back, bow to the altar, and go to their seat without bowing again. After the opening prayer by the priest, allow the assembly to settle a bit before approaching the ambo. Bow reverently, turning towards the altar before the first step. As you are bowing to the altar, not to the ambo or to the priest. When you arrive at the ambo, Take a few moments before beginning to feel comfortable and then begin reading. Do not read anything that is in red or in italics. You must project your voice into the microphone. Introduce the text strongly and then take a short pause before beginning the body of the text. Proclaim the reading clearly and slowly pausing at appropriate places and trying to make occasional eye contact with the assembly, usually at the end of a sentence or at a pause. If the microphone gets in the way of the text, slide the book a bit. Do not move your head away from the mic as your voice will fade. At the end of the reading, pause before saying, the word of the Lord. Say it with conviction and then take a step back, bow reverently to the book and return to your seat without bowing. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Wisdom is radiant and unfading and she is easily discerned by those who love her and is found by those who seek her. She hastens to make herself known to those who desire her. One who rises early to seek her will have no difficulty, for she will be found sitting at the gate. To fix one's thought on her is perfect understanding, and one who is vigilant on her account will soon be free from care, because she goes about seeking those worthy of her and she graciously appears to them in their paths and meets them in every thought. The Word of the Lord. The second reader will approach the ambo after the psalmist 
has returned to their seat. Bowing reverently to the altar before the first step. Readjust the microphone if needed and proclaim the scripture in the same way as instructed with the first reader. After the reading, place the lectionary on the table under the ambo without raising it up. The first reader reads the prayers of the faithful. Approach the ambo during the last few lines of the creed. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, etc. Bowing to the altar before the first step. Remove the prayers from the slot in the ambo and wait for the presider to complete the opening prayer. If the response is different from the usual Lord hear our prayer, you may say, the response is before the first prayer. Otherwise, you do not have to say that because the assembly knows the usual response. Reverently pray each intention, repeating the response each time with the assembly. After the last intention, turn towards the presider and remain at the ambo until he has concluded the prayers. You do not have to bow at the ambo before leaving as the books are not open on it. Return to your seat without bowing. Proclaimers do not take part in the closing procession. Thank you.